There's something about the dark that lights a spark, that sets a lot, the heart a thump, awaiting, expecting, what? In that moment, anything becomes a memory that would partake of forever, a history to be recalled when his story be told. And so, on that darkest night, the planet Earth had forever seared into its memory and history, the monumentous tearing of the veil, the cry that went out at midnight of a man lost, but not forever. This cry that reverberated and set Earth's ears on edge, the graves could not keep still, reaching breaking point on which a skill erupted with the force of magma, molten motion fluids that flowed into each other until days became night and his story became ours. Up from the grave he arose, down in the dust, sin beat at his belly, dead to sin, alive in Christ. His story becomes my story, and Ed would be the faithful scribe, keeping the books, making sure that history becomes forever in the annals of space and time. The call at midnight awoke the brides, its darkest at midnight. With all of nature waiting with bated breath, the next actor on the scene, the next big scene, would it await? Waiting to see the rising, yes, the awakening, just before the trumpet became the soundtrack and his coup to enter. Enter, groom, action, lights, sounds, angel, oh, glorious rapture of pleasure, the bride aglow, sonorous voices cooing in whispers of blasting praise, yet this other lamp lost its way, Mary's lamp that never followed, this little piggy never built with concrete and the wolf hopped and puff and eat him. History records folk tales. Men simply lived out tales. The earth kept copious notes. It was the silent witness between the goat and the lamb. Oh, what a day. Oh, what a day. Love, Sundar.